Hey guys, so um, I noticed there wasn't a video out there explaining the basics of the EVE Online Excel add-in that was released a couple of weeks ago. So I figured I'd do just that. This will cover, cover just the quick and dirty basics, how to install the basic functions, uh, the basic formulas, that sort of stuff. Um, so hope, hopefully you find that useful. If you do, uh, leave me a comment, leave me a like, uh, and uh, I might make more of these in the future going deeper into this add-in. If you like the content that I create overall, then I would love you to have your support on patreon.com slash ozeve. Uh, other than that, um, enjoy the video. So the first thing I'll show is how to install the add-in, and that's uh, quite easy. This is the download version of Microsoft Excel. As, uh, as you know, you can also use the, the online version, Office 365. I go to Insert up here, Get Add-in, Search for Eve, click on Add, and that's it, it's installed. To start the add-in, you go to Insert again, My Add-ins, you'll see Eve Online right here, double click it, and you'll see your characters populating here on the right. And you can see I already added my characters here, but if you want to um, add your characters and this is still blank for you, then you just click on Add Character, and uh, here you type in your Eve username and uh, password for the account you want to add and then select a character just like you always do. Now, how do we get data into the sheet? So there's two basic ways. One is once you have the add-in installed, you can put equals Eve in any cell and you'll get this drop down of all of the formulas that uh, come with this add-in. So most of these are self-explanatory, like, you know, EVE Online blueprint, uh, character assets, contract fittings. These are uh, fairly straightforward and you can just play around with them. So for example, if I put in here EVE Online character assets, right? I have to put a, a character ID in here uh, and uh, I can put uh, various filters in there as well. But I can also just leave it blank and just close those brackets up there, hit enter, and it's going to pull the assets in this case for all of the characters that are linked uh, to this, to this add-in right now. That's one way uh, of uh, pulling in a formula. The other way is through this panel right here and that uh, under each character, you can see the various functions listed here. And for example, if I click on assets here for this character, then uh, it's going to pull in all of the assets for this character. This function comes with a standard um, filter in it. Uh, again, I can remove that whole thing and click uh, enter, and then it will also pull in all of the assets for this character. Now, so those are two ways of using the formulas. You can play around with it, uh, pull in all sorts of data. One thing um, that I want to explain specifically is this little uh, symbol right here. So this little symbol on each of these assets that I pulled for uh, the characters on here uh, lets you look at a card. So this is basically the card that has all the information for this piece of asset in my, uh, in my hanger or in um, you know, wh wherever it is. This, this one is in, in GDA4, for example. So... Um, looking at this, I can pull in any of these uh, informations and, uh, and build a table from that. So for example, I can go in here. So this is the same thing, just quicker, right? So one is here, that's the card. One is here, but that's the same information, just quicker, right? I can pull in, for example, the owner of this asset. So immediately I know which uh, character this is, right? And this works, you can drag it down uh, this works for any um, uh, any of these cards, so uh, it's actually dynamic. You can add more things here. So, for example, the quantity as well. Again, same thing. This works for all of the asset cards that we pulled in here. So this is very dynamic, very easy to use. Uh, you can quickly build a spreadsheet that uh, looks at your assets with only the columns that you would want to look at, right? Another thing that I love about this is you can uh, also select, uh, for most of these, you can select the type. And once I pull in the type, what this does is seemingly it just replicates what is in here, but that's not true. What this is, is this is the actual item type that is in this asset 
line or this asset uh, data data type, right? So for um, the augmented hammerhead, I now pulled in the think of this as think of this as, as the collection of all data and think of this as the actual item. Now this you can drill into even more now. If I go here, you can now look at pricing, right? You can now look at volume, you can look at the item ID. Um, so uh, it's, it's a great tool to link different data tables and build your own custom spreadsheet with all the information. So you're not only limited to the asset information from that column C that I created here, but you can also link it to different things um, like this, uh, this type sheet here. So for example, I could put in the average price here. And again, uh, here you might have to do some, some, some formatting, you know, but uh, uh, let's just for simplification, I'll just make it turn it into, into euros. Um, I could just as easily turn it into Icelandic um, uh, ISK. So uh, this uh, will then pull in the average price, which you know has its own problems. The average price in here is not is not great. It's not like the GDA percentage price that you used to, but more on that later. Um, but pretty quickly here, I can uh, create a very dynamic table that has my assets in it, and um, uh, and and it's just generally a very useful uh, thing. Right. Besides assets, we can also look at other useful things like market transactions. Um, again, quite easy to pull in. If I just select a cell and then go to uh, transactions in this character right here, it will pull in the formula Eve Online dot character wallet transactions with this player's ID. This is the I, the character ID of that character, the Oz. If I leave it blank again, it's going to pull in all transactions for all logged in characters. So depending on what you're trying to do. Um, there's a, um, you know, one way, one way or the other will work better. Again, this is a data card. So I can go here and I add uh, things like the date, for example, or I can add, add things like the unit price, uh, and it will just look at um, the, the, the transaction of that the transaction date of this transaction, and then the unit price of this transaction as well, you can pull in any information you want. So you know, based on this, we already have a sheet that now shows all of our assets, we have a sheet that shows all of our transactions. And, um, you know, there's other other things you can do. Um, like, you know, if we go down this list, pull in information about your character, about your contracts, there is something called uh, order history. So an order history, you can look at expired or completed orders that you have done not to be confused with with market history right which you can also pull in here which is not as easy as uh, it might be from from third party applications so i think with market history we still have a little ways to go it's a little bit clunky but i might make a specific video uh, later on on the uh, specifics of of pulling market history with uh, with this add-in you can look at your skills um, that's that's actually you know quite extensive. I I would recommend there's a sheet out there by CCP that you can uh, look at. It's they link it in most of their news reports on this add-in, but I can also link it in the video below. In that sheet, they have a um, fairly good character overview that they have built already, where you can look at your skills, uh, including graphs and everything. So uh, not going to show that today. You can look at industry jobs. Um, fittings, clones, implants. So most of that I can just say, you know, if as long as you you play with them here, and you understand that the formula goes uh, in there, you can mostly leave it blank, uh, or not if you want general or specific information. And then you can pull in the information by clicking this button and build your own tables. And again, you can link uh, you can link other data tables to it. So for example, here we have the technetium transaction that we were talking about earlier. This is the item technetium and here I can then uh, pull in things like the item ID, the volume, uh, the, uh, you know, the, the, the average price, uh, anything uh, that I want to know. Right? So for example, here, uh, this this volume is obviously very, very small. Uh, but uh, again, you know, pulling it all down. Um, and uh, you can play around with this and make Make your own, make your own transactions. Uh, make your own, own, own spreadsheets. So, 
uh, I hope these basics, you know, get you started. Uh, I'll probably make more videos around this uh, to go into more detail, but um, I think this gets you as far as to understanding how you can um, you can realize some things that weren't possible without a programming knowledge or third-party apps before. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.